Hi everyone, this is Connor. This is video number two, based on a question I got in 253, and that's how can we make a rack and pinion in Onshape. So I've gone ahead and made this uh, part studio and assembly up already. It's a little bit comp more complicated than my last video, so I'm just going to walk you through what I did, and you can just copy my part studio directly to your document if you want to use it. So I started out by defining all the variables I'm going to need. So pinion teeth, rack teeth, module. You might need a bigger module depending on how you're cutting the gears. Thickness, that's going to be based on your material. And then the pressure angle. This rack overlap, I just basically added in there to make the model look prettier. You don't really need it. Um, if you do want to use that, just copy what I wrote there because it's, it's hard to explain the math of it. Okay, so now the next step, as I always do, is to draw a layout. So what's nice about a rack and pinion is that the line that's normal to the rack surface is just the pressure angle. And then this distance here is basically just the module times pi. So the geometry is really simple for one of the teeth on the rack. So that's what makes our life really easy. Also notice here that I have the diameter of the circle set to the number of pinion teeth times a module. Parameters make everything much easier. So now the next step is to use this awesome spur gear feature, um, feature script, which I'm going to link to in the description of the video. And the important thing here is that all the parameters of it are basically driven by our same variables at the beginning. Now the next step is to create a single segment of rack tooth. Easy. Mirror it. And then use a linear feature or linear part pattern to create the rack. And that's it, it's done. Everything else is basically fluff. So I have two make connectors that I added on in the part studio, just so it's easier for me to mate them in this assembly. And here I just have them mated with a rack and pinion mate so I can demonstrate that yes, this actually works. Now you could just insert these bodies here as references into whatever project you're working on. And then you can easily update the number of teeth, the module, etc., and it'll parametric, parametrically update your model from here. So definitely feel free to copy this entire part studio and put it directly in your document. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you next time.